Hi, I'm Abigail Miracle and I'm a printmaker and I'm in the Art of Day show at Columbia Center for the Arts opening Friday, October 2nd. And this is my studio and my printing press and I want to show you my process of making a hand pulled print. So right now I've just inked the plate with all the ink and cleaned it off. And I'm just finishing cleaning it a little, getting the excess ink off. And now in a few places, I um, will add some color. So let me just get the gloves off quickly and I'll take the plate over here. And on this, I'm going to add a little blue ink in a few places where I wanted it in my little carousel pony, runaway carousel pony. I spend half the year in Oaxaca, Mexico, working in a Mexican printmaking studio. And this is from a sketch that I did while I was in Oaxaca. And so sometimes I make up entirely new things and sometimes I work from sketches. And this one was a sketch I did. So I'm just adding some uh, ink in a few places that I want to show on the, the print. So adding a little purple here and I'm going to add a little yellow in here. And printmaking is um, very labor intensive, lots of steps. To make this copper plate, this plate, I had, uh, it's photopolymer film with steel backing and I used a light exposure unit with the drawing on acetate and put it under lights and then in water and that etched the plate to create the design within the plate and then comes the inking. So I have the blue and the purple and the yellow on there. And now I am going to add another technique. Oops, I've got one more thing. And I go on here. And here. Okay, and now I'm going to go over here by the press. And I'm going to get the little pieces of handmade paper. This is another technique called chine collé. And what we're going to do is add these little papers onto the plate upside down in a few spots to, just to add um, another dimension. Printmakers love to experiment and love process and this is a really interesting process where the papers end up bonding with the printmaking paper and and then they become a part of the design. So hopefully you're gonna see this in action. So I had to tear um, tear these little pieces of handmade paper and now I'm going to put glue on them. Everything has to, to be done at a kind of quick pace. Super fiddly. Hopefully, everything will not give me any trouble. Oops. Not give me any trouble. So I'm putting a little bit of glue on the back and hopefully the design is underneath and so the design will print over the top of these pieces of paper and they become a part of the work. And often, as you saw, it just kind of blew. I hold my breath when I'm putting these down because any kind of breathing with these little Asian papers that are so light um, can make them flutter away. Okay, now I'm going to put the plate 
on the press in the place I need to put it with my little diagram here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna swim over here. I'm gonna get um, one of the papers that I've already printed one time. I've already printed it with a blue with a stencil to create a background. So I've already printed this and it's damp and in the water. And now I'm just going to dry it so it's the right um, wetness to be able to receive the ink and print. So here I go up here and I'm going to put this in place. blankets and the pressure has already been put on the press. I send it good juju, help me make a beautiful print and there it goes through the press. You can see the press is big so I can also do large works but this Art A Day show is going to be fabulous because there are 11 artists participating and we each have made 30 pieces of work and they're all going to be reasonably priced and shown together so you can see all the exploration. And um, here is the exciting part. Let's hope it turned out. And I'm going to pull this up from the press and see if it printed. Beautiful. I got a nice print. And there it is. This is called Runaway Carousel Pony. Hope to see you at the exhibition.